Welcome back, educators, to another episode of 5-Minute Chapters, the podcast that brings you concise summaries of influential educational writings. I'm your host, Daniel Bowe, and today we dive into Chapter 1 of John Hattie's thought-provoking book, Visible Learning, where he shines a light on the challenges teachers face when implementing research-based practices in their classrooms. Teaching is a complex and dynamic endeavor and Hattie astutely notes that teachers often approach research with preconceived notions of what works best for them and their students. We all have our unique teaching styles and individual circumstances that shape our approach. However, this can sometimes make it difficult to adopt practices that may not align perfectly with our existing methods. Hattie argues that the key lies in acknowledging these challenges and finding ways to bridge the gap between research and practice. So let's jump right into the main points of Chapter 1. Picture this. You're a passionate educator, dedicated to your craft, and you've spent years honing your teaching style. It's only natural that you have certain preconceived notions about what works in your classroom. But here's the twist. Sometimes these preconceptions can hinder us from exploring new evidence-based practices. Hattie reminds us that teachers are experts in the art of context-specific teaching. We adapt our methods to suit the needs and personalities of our students. However, this very strength can become a barrier when it comes to embracing unfamiliar approaches. It's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Recognizing this challenge is the first step towards opening ourselves up to new possibilities. Have you ever come across a research study that seemed intriguing but end up gathering dust on your shelf? You're not alone. Hattie acknowledges that there is an abundance of valuable research on effective classroom practices, yet it often goes unnoticed or unused by teachers. But why? One reason may lie in the presentation styles of research. Sometimes, the way information is presented fails to engage us or acknowledge the realities of our bustling classroom lives. We need research that speaks our language, that resonates with our daily challenges, and provides practical solutions. Now, here's where things get exciting. Hattie proposes a game-changing approach, meta-analysis. It's like bringing different puzzle pieces together to form a cohesive picture. Through meta-analysis, the effects of various studies can be converted into a common measure, enabling us to quantify and compare overall effects. It's like having a compass to navigate this vast sea of research. But wait, there's more! (laughs) Hattie also introduces the idea of ranking different innovations based on their impact on a student achievement. Imagine having a roadmap that highlights which strategies have the most positive or negative effects. This empowers us to make informed decisions about the practices we embrace in our classrooms. Teaching is a dynamic dance between the teacher and the students. Hattie emphasizes that true success lies not in the initial delivery of the content or the organization of the classroom, but in what happens next. It's all about teacher reactivity. As teachers, we need to react and respond to how our students interpret, accommodate, reject, or even reinvent the knowledge and skills we impart. This means providing timely feedback and monitoring their progress By being attuned to our students' needs, we can make adjustments that ensure their learning journeys are meaningful and effective. Education encompasses more than just test scores and academic achievements. Hattie acknowledges that there are numerous outcomes of schooling that extend beyond student achievement alone. Attitudes, physical outcomes, a sense of belongingness, respect, citizenship, and fostering a love of learning. These are all vital aspects of education. However, in this particular review, Hattie focuses primarily on student achievement as a limitation. Nonetheless, it's crucial for us as educators to recognize and cultivate these broader outcomes in our students as they shape their overall development. And there you have it, a glimpse into the challenges and possibilities explored in Chapter 1 of John Hattie's Visible Learning. It's clear that as educators, we must be opening to questioning our preconceived notions, engaging with research, and adapting our teaching practices. Remember, teaching is a continuous journey of growth and learning. Let's embrace the power of meta-analysis, react to our students' needs, and strive to nurture holistic development beyond mere academic achievement. Thank you for joining me on this episode of 5-Minute Chapters. 
Stay tuned for more insights into the fascinating world of education and learning. Until next time, keep shining, educators. And remember, five-minute chapters because sometimes even teachers need cliff notes.